It's justifiable after the events of Tulsa King Season 2, Episode 9. Dwight Man Freddy faces remaining issues despite resolving many of his problems. The death of Jackie Ming, the leader of the Chinese triad, was a pivotal moment involving most of the cast, with some playing more significant roles than others. One unresolved plotline involves Amit Trusi, who robbed the bread two buck and goody for $500,000, but made a puzzling decision near the Mexican border. Understanding this twist is crucial, as it directly led to Jackie Ming's demise and may impact the potential Tulsa King Season 3. The Ambush at Margaret's Ranch The ambush of Jackie Ming at Margaret's Ranch was the episode's central spectacle and the event that the entire second season of Tulsa King was building toward. It was the major showdown of the episode and the introduction of the true villain responsible for the carnage in Tulsa King Season 2. However, it was also rather brief. Bigfoot, Mike Cash, and Walt buried Jackie after she attacked Dwight, all in the span of a few minutes, and the chaos made it easy to overlook some aspects. Fortunately, the events leading up to the ambush also disclosed the specifics of what transpired. The group that sought to depose Jackie Ming included Dwight and his gang, Bill Beva and his gang, Anu, and a few of his fellow Native American warriors. After taking cover in different stables, Dwight and Bill opened fire on Jackie and his men. They turned on the floodlights, blinding Jackie's group and turning the area into a shooting gallery. After that, Anu and his men ambushed the Chinese gang from behind, killing them with knives and other weapons. This could have happened because Amit tricked Jackie and his group into a trap from which they escaped just as gunfire erupted. The Chinese crime boss survived, but why did Dwight let the gunfight happen, even though the ambush killed all of Jackie's men? Why Dwight let Tyson kill Jackie? After being wounded in the leg by Grace McKenna Quigley Harrington, the remaining gang members escorted Jackie to a bar for his execution. Instead of Dwight personally killing Jackie, he allowed Tyson to use Jimmy's tomahawk to do it. Tyson sought vengeance for the car bomb that wounded his father, Mark, Michael Beach, and Jackie was the one responsible. So, Dwight let him kill Jackie. To paraphrase what Dwight stated, the murder was justified. Although Dwight may have had more nuanced motives, he did allow Tyson to kill Jackie for a very simple reason. Dwight may have further desensitized Tyson to violence by allowing him to exact his retribution firsthand. Killing a guy might have been the logical next move for Tyson as he became more involved with the gang in Tulsa King Season 2, which included helping to bury Carl's body. Perhaps this is a precursor to Tyson's future prominence and authority in Tulsa King. The Aftermath of Jackie Ming's Death Jackie Ming was Tulsa King Season 2's main enemy, despite his anonymity. After his death, Dwight and the group had no main antagonist. Yet Tulsa King Season 2 has one more episode. The show's loose ends, Cal Thresher, Bill Bavalacqua, Chicky, and Dominic Lombardoy, will presumably replace him in the conclusion. Bill said he would kill the guy after he cleaned things up with Dwight, so Cal's story appears uncomplicated. Dwight's other rivals and family members' stories are tougher to foresee. Bill and Dwight fought Jackie together, but they are still bitter. Bill still resents Tyson's killing of Carl and Vic's injury while Dwight wants retribution for Jimmy's murder. They may fail to resolve that, and the two gangsters may prolong their feud. The possibility of a peace accord exists, but it seems unlikely to last. Chicky's role and Dwight's family tension. Tulsa King Season 2, Episode 9 ended with Chicky taking the train to Oklahoma. Vince, Vincent Pazza, ordered him to kill Dwight or get him to work with the Invini family in New York again. Chicky's actions in Oklahoma are unclear, but there are several options. Chicky will probably kill Dwight, but he may die instead. He may also join Dwight to resent Vince, which would be a storyline twist. Dwight must face his daughter, Tina, before Tulsa King Season 2 ends. Dwight returned Tina to New York for safety before the Bill Bavalacqua Jackie Ming battle. Tina was tired of Dwight's illicit activities uprooting her life. Therefore, their father-daughter relationship soured. Dwight told Armin that it's never too late to make things right, so he may apologize to Tina and rejoin his blood family until Tulsa King Season 2's finale.